Hey and welcome back to episode 62 of my Hard Crime Man. As you see in that last clip there, we came in with 78 Slayer. It's taken way longer than I was expecting it to, and it's sort of on the back burner at the minute, but I'll be coming back to it. Last episode, I was so happy as well that I finally started making some stamina potions. It's going to be so good for the account, and it's kind of reared me on a little bit to go do some, uh, some quests and some achievements and things like that. So... We're going to be starting off by doing a few of them. Uh, it's not a new PB, but uh, there is something coming up, hopefully, if I guess this right. Yeah, look at that base 60 stat of 60 runecrafting coming in right now. Um, can now wear the primordial boots, which... Whoa, who knows what we're going to get. Um, but base 60 stats now, so that is really nice to look at. Um, what was it? Another three more tiers of Gothics till we get a level. Oh man. Doing the daily runs has really started to pay off now. 72 prayer. Oh, that's so good. Uh, what was it? Another 319 more bones until the next level. I think I've got about 200 in the bank. I've got quite a lot of insult heads though, so uh, at some point when I've finished with Slayer, maybe I might go spend them all. I don't know, I might do it sooner than that. No, I missed it, I didn't realise we was coming in with it. Uh, 73 agility coming in. Uh, I was just trying to enter my max of grace so I could make more agility potions. Um, super tired so I can't be asked with any Slayer right now. I'm going to start recording now because otherwise I'm going to miss it. There we go, we killed another superior, what did we get? Um, nothing. At all, pretty much. That's easy enough when you've got a main. Well, I say main. My hardcore's better than my main, but um, yeah. So that's a hard task completed. I thought I'd just do this quick. I'm doing a clue scroll at the minute, but um, I thought I'd just quick knock that out. Got a hard casket from a slow task. I can't remember which one now. Um, some nice elks at least. About f nearly. 5,000 thieves later, 88 thieving coming in. Oh man, I'm gonna move on to something else now because uh, I think my fingers are gonna drop off from doing this. Whoa, I put my tanky gear on and just ran through all of the horrible caves through to DKs and that. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot worse, but it really wasn't bad at all. Finally completed all the medium. Uh, tests so that means we get another lamp and that's going straight into runecrafting 7.5k xp into runecrafting uh, it's well worth it. I can do the hard diaries as well so I'm gonna have a look to see what I've got to do to do that complete the hard diaries it wasn't too bad actually so let's just claim that uh, don't get anything too interesting the best thing we got uh, besides obviously the lamp, which is 15k XP in runecrafting. Um, there's the Trollheim uh, shortcut, this one here, on the rocks. So I can just go up there straight to the herb patch there now. So that's going to be really useful. I'm probably going to start using that some point soon, I think. Um, that's, that's about it, really. That's the only useful thing I've got. I just realised I should have done this one ages ago. The rewards are so much better from this. I think it's 10% more marks of grace and 5% more yield from the herb uh, spot over there somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's like really late in the morning and I don't know why I'm awake still. I'm really tired, but it's well worth it for the runecrafting level. 61. All right. Feel like I'm on fire at the minute. Slushing, uh, I don't know what words. Words just don't even come out at the minute. Uh, but we're completing another diary. That's the main thing. Uh, and with the gloves three, um, ten k XP and runecrafting. All right. Yeah, with the gloves gloves three, I can't speak at all. So it's really late. Uh, I've got unlimited teleports. The gem mine now. So that is gonna be awesome. Um, I've never ever done this before on any account because I could never be asked to get the gloves or anything. Um, yeah, it's just going to be 
really helpful. And also it's a quick teleport now to get to my Slayer Master, which is literally just over there. So it's going to be my new way of getting to Shiloh Village every time. For some reason I decided to come build all of the uh, fossil cabinets that I could. Uh, I've still got three medium and two plant ones to do, but I've got tons of lamps, so I'm hoping that this is going to get me a load more runecraft and XP. Coming in with the first runecrafting level of 62. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any more levels from this, I have no idea. Uh, I'm sure some people are probably mad as well, I'm not sticking it into Herblore, but Herblore is quite easy now with like the new farming guild and stuff like that, it's easy to get seeds and whatnot, so construction's easy, it's just expensive, and the rest of the skills are quite easy to do, even prayer to be fair. So once runecrafting gets up to 77, I'm going to be probably putting it all on prayer. I had just enough, well I've got one lamp left, to get another runecrafting level, 63 runecrafting and 1800 total levels. Uh, I kind of forgot that was creeping up, so that it's quite nice to see. Um, so now, the first time ever, our lowest skill is now smithing. Smithing's easy, I've got like 4 mil in the bank, so I can just go buy a load of gold ore and go smelt all the blast furnace, which I think I'm going to do soon. Uh, I don't know, I just, for some reason, I wanted to get runecrafting up. This seems absolutely crazy just to pay 25k for some fancy stone in the house that no one can see because obviously you're an eye man and no one can come to your house but only leaves one more task to do and that's to make the spot your cape and it doesn't sound like it's too hard to do it just sounds a little bit annoying so I'm gonna go do that and finish off this diary oh I also need to teleport to uh, that place so I'll probably do that soon Complete the hard diaries. It wasn't too bad to do. I didn't know which cape I was making, so I made both and got spares and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna stick this again into runecrafting. I'm sure some people are probably cringing that I'm sticking all this XP into runecrafting, but I just honestly hate runecrafting so much. It's just like a horrible skill. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything too great with that. Uh, I can buy some more staffs. Uh, by 60 a day instead of 30 and access to the cook's guild bank which uh, I don't think is that useful to me, it might be, I don't know, uh, I might go check it out in a minute and that's, that's about it really, so was it worth doing? Of course it was, love the XP. So I was just AFK and killing some uh, horrible crab thingies whilst making this video and yeah, next episode I'll definitely get into some more questing. Uh, I doing all these achievement diaries just made me want to go do loads of questing now. So it'd be really nice if I could knock out pretty much all of the quests. There's only two that I'm scared of at the minute, so I'm hoping to complete all of them but that. So hopefully you'll stick around for that and remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.